I've got tired of people asking me how long it takes me to knit a garment and me not having an accurate answer to give them. So that is why I decided every time I worked on this beautiful top right here, I took out my stopwatch and I timed myself. And these are the results. I've been working on this forever. 428 minutes, 1,364 minutes. How many minutes did it take for me to knit this top is? If you wanna see how many hours it took for me to knit this sweater and to see my process of making it, then you gotta keep on watching. All right, so I've been working on this some without filming it, so this is where I'm starting to film. And I just wanna give you a little update to the timing of everything. So last night, I knit a sw gauge swatch, okay, to figure out if my sizing, how I naturally knit, is going to fit the sizing of the pattern. So this is the gauge swatch that I made. It's supposed to be like a four by four. This is like probably a four by like three and a half because I made it a little shorter. This alone took me, like including like casting on and reading instructions, like the whole process, 77 minutes. Just the process of creating this 77 minutes and since then so today what i worked on was i made a, another swatch because i found out that this gauge is too big so I, I sized down on needles so i made like half a swatch of that and then i worked on the first shoulder part which is this right here and those two things together took me almost an hour and a half so an hour and 25 minutes, so what is that like? 85 minutes? Knitting takes a long time, people. This is gonna be fun. I'm actually like really interested in the outcome. I'll keep you updated. Hey guys, haven't given you an update for a little bit. So, so far I have put in 428 minutes into this project, which is the equivalent to a little over seven hours. <laughs> which sounds absolutely insane when you look at what I've done and you realize how little it looks. So let me show you. This is all I have so far. And I'm not, I didn't think I was a super slow knitter. Maybe I am a super slow knitter. Keep in mind, these are pretty small needles and this is pretty small yarn. I mean, it's going really well. It's just, and now this is, has some curl to it. It's a little longer than how it looks. But it's just taken a long time, but that's okay. Slow fashion takes a long time. That's why it's called slow fashion. Thankfully, I love the process of it, and I don't mind that it's only taken me, that it's taken me seven hours to do a couple of inches of a sweater, essentially. Yeah, everything's going well. I'm gonna try to get a lot done this weekend. I've got a three-day weekend ahead of me. Do you hear the squeaking in the background? Those would be my squeaky pipes in my classroom. We love that. Anytime the AC turns on, squeaky. your little update. So I have finished the first portion of the back, this part here. I've put these stitches on some scrap yarn and now I'm working the front right side, so the shoulder down to the front. So my thing kind of looks like this right now. It's been going really well. I got a lot done today. One thing that's been really interesting and quite a learning experience for me is the first part of this pattern is like a normal written pattern, but for the front, it did like one of these charted patterns. So it's like a chart of 
the front and each square has a different marking in it which symbolizes what type of stitch you need to do. So that was kind of a learning curve for me like figuring out just exactly how to read them. I am liking it. I'm a very visual person so it helps for me to see it in this way. This has been a fun learning experience. I just um, count up all my num my hours and I was at 956 minutes is the amount of time that I've put into this project so far, give or take. And that divided by 60 is this number here, which pretty much is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit shorter than 16 hours of work so far. I would like to think I'm halfway done, but I don't really know um, because also like I'm running the clock even if I'm not actively knitting, but I'm trying to figure out the project or counting rows or things like that because that is part of the time that it takes to knit something is the time that you're not knitting too, if that makes sense. 16 hours of work, this is what I have to show for it. Pretty crazy, knitting, huh? Yet we love it. Hello, it has been a while since I've given you an update. Here are all the days that I have that I have logged so far. So we've got a lot of minutes. I haven't done the math in a little bit and added them up to see what we're at so far, but let me show you what I have knitting wise so far and then maybe we'll add up some hours. This project has been really fun. I'm definitely learning a lot. And the reason I wanted to show you what I'm up to is because I'm at the end or almost the end of those charts that I was telling you. So I've practically finished most of the shaping of the front two pieces. It does not look like anything of substance right now because it's all curling onto itself. I mean, here's the whole thing holding it up. Um, it goes like this ish okay so what i'm about to do is connect all these pieces together so i'm going to connect the left front to the back and the back other side of the back to the right front and then once i do that i'm just able to kind of go back and forth pretty much until i reach my desired length and then i'm pretty sure i'm done with the knitting part and all i've left to do is add the little tie so we're getting close i feel like once I do, I'm about to do a kind of confusing part where I connect it all together, but once I get through that, I think it's just gonna be pretty much like mindless knitting until the end, just knitting and purling until my heart's content. It's so far has been a really fun project, and I just hope it turns out when I block it and all of that. But here she is. This is two balls worth of yarn, and I'm working on my third here. So I think I should have enough with the four because I only have four balls of yarn. So I should be, I should be good to go. All right, let me do some math and I'll let you know what my hours are. Okay, the numbers have been calculated. So far, I'm at a total of 1,364 minutes, which equals to a little over 22 and a half hours. Here's the exact number when I divide that by 60, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Um, on the days that I have worked on it, there have been a couple days where I did not knit, but my longest knitting day was 222 minutes, and my shortest knitting day was 15 minutes. Now, technically my shortest knitting day would be zero, because there were some days that I didn't. Pretty cool. Um, this has been really fascinating to see all the numbers and just, it is crazy how much work knitters or crocheters or sewists put into their pieces. been the worst at documenting this but I'm going to work on it today and I'm going to make an effort to show you how I'm working on it. It's been a while since I have knit on this 
according to my hour log my last day was March 13th and it's March 19th so not crazy um, but longer than I would like because I am close to the finish line I'm so close I have everything sewn from here until like here so I'm like at the bottom of the armpit and not sewn knit I have everything knit and I basically just need to go from here to like how long I want it. So it's just really boring and each row is like over 200 something stitches. But I'm on spring break right now, so I have some time. I'm also getting over a sickness and so I don't wanna do anything that's like too crazy. So I'm just gonna put on a show and get some rows in. And hopefully in the next couple days I can finish it because I'm ready to move on from this project and I am just dying to get a pair of socks cast on. I haven't knit a pair since my froggy socks and I really want to knit some socks. And yes, I can have more than one project going on, but it's better for my brain not to. Let's get my knit on. Okay, it's been like 17 minutes and I'm getting to the end of the third skein of yarn. So I'm in the middle of a row, so it's kind of hard for me to show you, but here is how much I have after three skeins and I have my last ball of yarn left. So I hope that this can bring me through, bring me to the end. <laughs> on this forever but we are going to finish her today hopefully that is the plan I tried it on and I only need to do like an inch or so I'd say so we are definitely headed towards the finish line and then once I finish knitting it I just need to crochet the straps and then block it and then we done Now we gotta wait for 15 minutes and let it soak. Why does it look green? Oh, cold. Are 
The important thing is that you don't twist it, just kind of gently squeeze. Now we wait. Last time I did this, it took like four days to dry, but that was with 100% wool and this is linen. So I'm hoping she won't take as long. All right, we have finished blacking. She's looking pretty good. There's a couple things that I want to modify a little bit on it, like I, that I, without like unraveling it. And I still need to add the straps, but I'll try it on, but like keep in mind, I'm not wearing the right outfit to go underneath it. And I would make these modifications today, but I'm leaving for a overnight field trip tomorrow with my students. So I need to physically and emotionally prepare for that. No, it'll be fun, it'll be good. <laughs> but here it is, I really like the drape of it like I feel like it's laying super nice and then just like imagine a cute little tie right there on the pattern it has two ties but I might just do the one because it kind of naturally stays close so we'll just wait and see how I'm feeling it's looking pretty nice I'm, I'm liking it I'm happy so I will see you in two to three days when I can actually give time to finish it because I need to finish packing Let's make some straps. I did the first strap and I love or the first tie. I love how it looks, but guys, I literally mm, measured this so I would place them in the right spot. And how did I manage to get it so uneven? Do I fix it? I don't, I don't want to, but I probably should. <sighs> I don't know if I can fix it. I tied that knot pretty tight. Okay, if I can untie it, I will fix it. If I can't, oh well. I'm on break at work right now, so I just wanted to take a second and show you how I decided to style this top for work today. And yeah, I just have this really cute flowy dress and this is like an awesome layering piece. Got some black boots on, a little black tie in my hair. But I gotta say, I am, like the more I'm wearing this, the more I'm just so happy with how it turned out. And I really am liking the fit of it. I love the drape of the fabric. I just think this is so cute and it's gonna be so fun and versatile in the summer. Can wear over top like a swimsuit, almost like a swimsuit cover up or wear you know, like a cute little tank top underneath or whatever it might be. Um, but I just like, <laughs> I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy this project is done too. Like I was, I was ready to finish. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the results. All right, I've got my results all calculated out. Let's see how many minutes it took for me to knit this top. I started this project on February 11th, 2024, and I finished it on April 3rd, 2024. So that is a total of 52 days that it took for me to finish this project. Now, out of those 52 days, there were definitely a lot of they, a lot of days that I did not work on the project. So, out of the 52, I only was actively knitting on 24 of those days, which means I could have gotten this project done in 24 days, but life happens and there's going to be multiple days where you just can't knit and that's just kind of how it goes. So out of those 24 days, the shortest amount of time that I knit in one day is six minutes and that happened on March 12th. Now, technically the, the shortest amount that I knit would be zero minutes, but on the days that I did knit, it was six. The longest time that I knit in one day was on February 22nd, two, 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 and I did this on purpose because I knit for 222 minutes on that day. Two is my favorite number, so I kinda had to. All right, now for our 
total number, how many minutes did it take for me to knit this top is, drum roll, 2,142 minutes, which is 35 hours and 42 minutes. Crazy. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there was a couple of times where I forgot to click on my stopwatch and record how long it took. So this number might be a little bit bigger, I would say kind of give or take an hour or two added to this, maybe like an hour, but it's okay. It's nothing's exact, but you know, pretty much it took me over 35 hours as I think is a um, fair statement to make. Now on average, on the days that I knit, so out of those 24 days, I on average knit for 89.25 minutes a day, so basically 90 minutes a day, which is a lot higher of a number than I thought it was going to be. Now, if we take into account all the days that I did not knit anything, so out of the 52 days, on average, I knit 41 minutes a day. That's pretty fair. That's all the calculations that I did. I felt like those were kind of the most important things to know. I really wasn't sure how long this project was going to take, but 35 hours or over 35 hours is definitely a long time. I'm so happy I did it. I absolutely love the top and I'm gonna get so much wear out of it. So it's definitely worth those 35 hours. But next time someone asks for you to make them a sweater, send this video to them so they know how long it takes and how much effort and mind power it takes to create a beautiful garment like this. All right, my friend, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I was looking at my analytics and it seems that like 92% of you are not subscribed. So that is you and you've noticed that you've been watching some of my videos or maybe this is your first one. Um, go ahead and hit subscribe. It is free for you and if you don't like my videos in the future, you can always unsubscribe later. So yeah, give it a shot. All right, my friend, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thank you.